The story so far. Agent 47 and his handler, Diana Burnwood, are the world's top assassins working for the ICA. When all of their recent missions turn out to be contracts for a shadow client, things take an unexpected turn. All their targets have been operatives in an invisible organization known as Providence. Providence has infiltrated the highest echelons of power and secretly owns our world. The Shadow Client wages a silent war against them. And so the Constant, Providence's enigmatic controller, seeks Diana out. His request, track down and eliminate the Shadow Client. In return, he offers something irresistible. The truth of 47's lost origins. Neither know that the man they hunt is 47's childhood friend. And unlike 47, he remembers everything. Our intel indicates that she and her team are laying low, most likely planning the militia's next strike. Reynard is one of the Shadow Clan's top lieutenants, and yet she's not a target. Not yet, anyway. She's no doubt high on our client's list, but for now, it's information we seek. Infiltrate the house and get us a lead on the Shadow Client. Up for some B&E, 47. On my way. Good aim. Now, according to the local home security provider, the house is equipped with multiple cameras placed around the perimeter. I suggest you get rid of them, 47. see them. Oh, poor bastards. Looks like Reynard's grisly handiwork all right. She was never shy about collateral damage. The owners? Don't think so. The house is registered to a non-existing environmental NGO. This feels more like identity theft. Like you, Reynard is known to use disguises. Hmm. Keep looking, 47. Nothing we can do for these people now. Masks. Rope. Chloroform. Looks like another kidnapping. I wouldn't put it past them. The Shadow Client is nothing, if not industrious. Why is he doing this? Clearly, he has an axe to grind with Providence. Big enough to surround himself with murderers and terrorists. Big enough not to care who gets hurt in the process. He believes he's doing the right thing, I suppose. Just like everyone else.
found something. Looks like research reports. Berlin, Shanghai. Every major malicious strike since Thomas Cross's kidnapping. Looks like Reynard had a hand in all of them. All in the past, I'm afraid. Keep looking, 47. Found something. A file on Rupert Pierce, founder of Dynasty Global. The world's largest internet retailer. Hmm. If Pierce is a Providence operative, he's likely on the Shadow Client's hit list. But it's not what we came for. Keep looking, 47. Forty-seven. That computer. See if you can't access it. Encrypted. Hmm. Assuming there's a key, Reynard wouldn't just leave it lying around. Wait. According to the floor plan, the room you're in should be a lot bigger. There might be a concealed space behind the wall. Check for hidden panels, Forty-seven.
thought so. This should be interesting. Here we go. For the office computer, no doubt. Nicely done, 47. Should allow you to move more freely. I'm in. Hurry. I'm detecting movement up the road. A motorcade, possibly Reynard's. Uploading the data. Hold on. Receiving it now. Hmm. Nothing on the Shadow Client or the other cells. No names, no aliases. I doubt she even knows whom she's working for. Wait, here's something. A message from Robert Knox of Kronstadt Industries. And by the sound of it, he's a Providence operative. A defector. Well, well, well. Client won't like this one bit. And you can't wait to tell him. They're back. Multiple hostiles. I see them. Damn. Okay, we've got all we're going to get. Go to stage 247. Eliminate Reynard, and preferably without raising suspicion. One step ahead of the Shadow Client for once. Let's keep it that way. Ugh, I thought this night would never end. What a snob fest. And I even missed out on the action. Oh, I'm sorry you had to endure all that free champagne and cello music, Orson. What can I say? You really took one for the team. Yeah, well, I say stick to what you know. guests of the PM, the wife and two daughters of one Lance Donovan, the VP of Dynasty Global. The online retailer? Uh-huh. Donovan is back in London, working. He should receive the pictures as we speak. Ah, blackmail. Donovan's boss, Dynasty CEO Rupert Pierce, is a top Providence operative. But we can't get near him, so I decided to, well, do a bit of outsourcing. Oh, could you fix me a cup of tea? Sure thing. You want sugar? Honey? Um, honey. No problema.
Mr. Donovan. Who I am is not important. You have seen the pictures, yes? Good. I will tell you exactly what to do. Do it swiftly and without question and your wife and children go free, unharmed. Refuse or hesitate and your family dies. Attempt to signal or warn anybody and your family dies. Do we have terms? Not very convincing, Mr. Donovan. Take a deep breath and try again. Much better. Now, you will take the stairs up to the rooftop helipad where your boss, Rupert Pierce, is taking his morning jog. You will inform his guards that you are delivering an urgent message. You will approach Mr. Pierce, lure him close to the edge, and toss him off the building. Hey, you want green tea or mango? What do you think? You heard me, Mr. Donovan. The life of your boss for the life of your wife and daughters. Shouldn't be much of a choice, even for a workaholic. Do you understand me? Very good. Now, go. If I don't hear sirens from downtown London in five minutes, your family suffers the consequences. Best of luck, Mr. Donovan. We thank you for your sacrifice. Is it done? Good as. And Mr. Donovan's wife and children? The guys will let them go at the stroke of midnight, unless I say otherwise. Boss's orders. You know how squeamish she gets about collateral damage. Target down. Well done, 47. Now get off the property. Yeah, it looks like an accident. Over.
The Mercs have discovered your boat, 47. They're on high alert, combing the beach for intruders. Proceed with caution. to get past them unnoticed. I suggest you cause a distraction, 47, and make it a loud one. 